Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make some alternate ideas using the September Paper Pumpkin Autumn Abundance Kit. Lots of lovely fall colours and as today is the first day of fall where I am in the world, I thought I would get cracking and get some out so you could see them. I started and there was just so many ideas I was falling over myself and rather than this be a three hour long video I thought I would just make a start with the ones that I had done and then I will come back and do a second one a little bit later when my brain has had a chance to recover. So paper pumpkin we know how it goes they give you all the ingredients and everything you need to make things in the kit it comes with the little ink spot although I will be substituting it for my full size pad as well as quite a few other colours but of course where I've changed the greetings you can always do them in the Cajun craze using your spot. I love paper pumpkin it literally is well normally the phrase is everything but the kitchen sink paper pumpkins phrases everything but a pair of scissors so let's talk in more action let me get on and show you the first card that I'm going to make with you. So we're going to cut an envelope down. That's one of the main things that we do. These envelopes are really pretty actually because they have a pattern at the top and then there is color all the way through. Quite often it's you know more patterned on the inside, but I was still able to make good use of the solid color. So I'm going to line the edge of the envelope up with the paper trimmer, the dark edge of the trough of the paper trimmer and just slice off a slither. So really like a hair's breadth. And then we'll do it on the other side. Again, just a little hair's breadth. And then I'm going to open it up and then cut off the back from the colored inside. However, these happen to be very vanilla. So I have even used the back quite often we just discard this or use it for an inside piece but this was how you slice the envelope if you've never seen that done before so I'll put that off to one side because I've already gone ahead and done mine so what I did was I took this card which technically has a score mark and you fold in half and it becomes the card not so I took the card and I cut two and three quarters from the right hand side and two and three quarters from the left hand side and that left us with sort of two and seven eighths so these are the pieces that we had to make the cards from so I think you can probably see where the pieces were from so this one I put onto pumpkin pie cardstock and I'm going to I took the envelope which has the lovely the contrast isn't so much when you don't have them next to each other, but they're very vanilla. And I used the stylus shapes and cut out some banners. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to ombre colour the greeting. So I took the greeting from the stamps and it says, well, sending autumn wishes your way. So what we need to do is bring in the pumpkin pie ink and ink up the whole stamp. Let me just make sure I've got it the right way up. So now if I was to stamp that, it would just be pumpkin pie. But then I'm going to bring in the poppy parade and one of the little ink daubers. And I'm going to put just ink along the bottom of the stamp. And give it a huff because quite often just the warmth and moisture of your breath is enough to reactivate your ink if you've left it a little bit too long and you're worried that it might dry out. So now you can see it's got sort of an ombre look. The font is quite fine, so it's not as stark as it could have been, but it's still the same concept. So let me just close the inks quickly. So that is going to go on there and this one is going to go on the other side. Now this little strip of Knight of Navy was the other piece of the envelope. Having just said, let me put that away because we don't need it. So here is the envelope, is the sticky part of the glue. 
and this bit here was left over so what i did was i took it and cut out my little stylus shape shapes out of that piece but out of here obviously on the other side i have all this lovely background paper so i just cut them into half inch strips and then cut them down to size because you'll see on the back of here it's only half an inch thick but it doesn't show when you have it on the front and then the other thing is this was where the fold was you can i don't even think yeah look you can just see where it is but the best way to get rid of that is to take the bone folder and to rub it on the back from behind where it's sort of like a mountain of the fold and you can just press it and it will reduce it quite considerably it won't make it go completely away but i don't think that's very visible at all so what i'll do now is i'll go ahead and stick this on this is a piece of wild wheat and all the cards that i'm showing you today are eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter so i'm just going to stick this into the middle of the piece of wild wheat and then if there's any overhang you can see on the bottom and then just trim that with your snips so we've now got the three cards made from the three pieces so i'm going to put the original one away and do this over a little while later then i'm going to bring in the dimensionals and dimensionals is one of the fabulous things that stamping up are known for giving such a generous amount i can't find i put mine away already so we're just gonna stick a dimensional on the back of each of these greetings and stick one there If there's anything that bothers me, I have to be honest, it's when I cut this card down, the two and three eighths. This is not a smudge. This was a, a leaf from something on the other side. So I'm actually going to put the very bottom edge of the greeting just by there. It really should go a little bit higher up, but I saw it bothered me so much. I wanted to hide it so that is the two greetings for the outside pieces and then the inside piece it's a little bit wider but it doesn't have so much color these ones have an awful lot of color so what i thought i would do was take two of the cutouts the lovely little doodads that came these were the ones the little punch outs and i thought i would attach those to the card underneath the greeting on this one so let me just bring in the glue put some little dots on there and then we can put one that way one that way and then when we stick two dimensionals on the back of here cut out of the envelope it's going to hide where those edges are and this one I stamped in the Knight of Navy so out of one card and one envelope I've got three different cards on three different colored backgrounds so that's not too bad and then onward to the next round of cards i'm going to be using this one that looks like it's got this wonderful wood grain so the whole card this is the card in its completeness with the score down the middle so what i did was i cut them in half and i backed them onto cajun craze cardstock so here we go these are the pieces i'm bringing in this is one of this is the one of the other cards but what I did was I cut it down. I took 
the card has a little score line here it's just a little four by four card i cut the circle off and then i took the back and where there are patterns i fussy cutted them out so i went round by this one and then round and cut the leaves out the middle so these were the scraps that i had left from that whole piece and i managed to get two cards out of that so i just wanted to show you waste not want not so stick that quickly over to one side and then the idea of the card is that it has three of these lovely sycamore leaves and two of the cutouts well i've changed the amounts of cards and leaves and all that good stuff so let me just show you one of the backgrounds i cut down to get half inch strips which is what i've put the greetings on so technically i took the back of a card and an inside piece of one of the third card and cut them down i then did the same trick with the envelope sliced it with a slither open and i cut three leaves out of there using the add-on dies and then I've got the punched out piece and a greeting. So there's the dies. This is the leaf that was extra. And the kit came with the yellow leaf, the crushed curry, and it came with this lovely shiny bronze one. But I needed a third leaf because I'd taken away the sycamores. So I cut out the Cajun craze out of the envelope. So I'm going to make two of the cards. This is the one that I made using the fussy cut out of the back of one of the other cards. And these two were what I made using the pieces that came specifically in the kit. So I'm going to put this down. And I'm only going to use two of the leaves. The kit shows three. Whoops, let me get that into the shot. The kit shows three, but I've reduced it to two so I could stretch the leaves out a little bit. So I'm just going to put a piece of on the back of these ones. Oops. And I'm going to... I decided I would put the bottom piece of wood just so it looks more like a base like a mound that the leaves could sit on and then the other little thing that I felt I needed to mention to be careful of is you've got a really Cajun leaf and a yellow leaf so it's best to put the colors to the opposite or they tend to just sort of disappear a little bit so let me just turn those over in the order that I want them to go on the card and just stick a little bit of glue on the back. You'll see I'm using my silicon mat just so that I don't get any stickiness on my work surface so anything else that follows on doesn't get stuck to it and all gunky. So there we go. There's a little bit of glue stuck on. So we'll stick a crushed curry leaf on the Cajun sycamore, we'll stick the Cajun leaf on the crushed curry sycamore, and then the lovely bronze one can just shine its own little heart out in the middle. So then what I did was I stamped with the Cajun craze, I stamped with thanks, which is one of the greetings that come in the kit. And then I'm going to put just a little bit of glue on the back of here and attach it at the bottom because I'm then going to put dimensionals. Oops. Along the back. Peel the backings off. Give myself a tap to have to go and retrieve those later and then stick those on so that's the card bearing in mind we've got the alternate colors of the leaves and last but not least we just have to stick this to the cajun craze cardstock base that i cut extra and this is actually cut down to four and one eighth by five and three eighths so we get the maximum amount of the 
card stock, the original card, which has now sort of become designer series paper. And it just has a little border of Cajun craze going around the outside. So now we have three, the same of those. And then I've got the one that is with the fussy cutting, some of the fussy cutting. I've got one that's just spare that I haven't decided what on earth I'm going to do with that yet, but it's there and it's going to be waiting in the wings. So that's rather nice. And then this one, I will show you how we get the pieces put on because it was a little trick that I felt was quite helpful. So put the base down where you want it to go. And because these mostly have straight edges because they came off a little four by four card, I'm just going to stick the bottom on these ones I actually raised the whole thing up well no these ones I raised the whole thing up with dimensionals this one I'm going to stick the base down because I'm going to use it as a guide for where I want the pieces to be now this leaf we know is just going to go off towards the left so we can go ahead and stick that on already because it's got a nice big back and then we've got the with thanks greeting to go over the top of things. And these are the pieces that we're going to place carefully. So I'm just going to bring in the silicon mat again because there are some of these areas that are a little bit thin. And we don't want them to get sticky on the work surface. I mean, there wasn't really any sort of set pattern. I just cut them as I saw them and thought, oh, I'll go past you and I'll go round by you so I will see if I can get a copy of what it is and draw you sort of a, a cutting map so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the bottom the straight edge bottom with the straight edge of this piece that I put down for that purpose this one is just two leaves and it's going to go sort of over here but over here ish if that makes sense. So this one I'm going to put on and then these ones I'm going to try and sort of weave between the two. So there's enough cardstock. So now when we come to put the with thanks on, actually I'm going to just, this little leaf here came too far down. And as it's going to be under a piece of paper, the greeting, under a piece of cardstock, it doesn't really matter. This one we could probably pull up a little bit. As long as when we put the greeting on, you can't see all this hidden jiggery-pokery. So then we will bring in some more dimensionals and just pop three on the back of there. Oops, don't know which one is the one without the sticky on. Actually, this one, now that it's stuck down, could probably have been, in all honesty, a little bit higher up, but not to fear. You can still see that there is some. So this is hiding all the pieces where you can see that it's a weird seam. It's not really a full leaf. And then last but not least, I'm going to pop these onto the Cajun craze. And again, this is four and one eighth by five and three eighths to maximize the shape. So there you have it. There's two of those which are the same. There are three of those which are the same. And now I've completely lost my other ones. Help! So what happens when you put things carefully out of the way? Here they are. So we've got these three that came out of the first card. These two and these three. Those two are different. Oh my goodness me. You know when you're in kindergarten you do those matching games? This is probably why. I don't recall failing miserably back when I was seven. But anyway, so here we go. Those three are the same. These two are a little bit different. These three are the same. 
success. Whew. All right, my loves, those are the cards that I've managed to come up with so far. As you can see, there was way more potential, especially with this little one. So I am going to say watch this space and I will do another video fairly soon. All the directions and dimensions, of course, will be on my blog. If you've got any questions or comments, please feel free to put those in the description box below. I'll always get back to anyone. If you're not a paper pumpkin person and you would like to be, I would absolutely love to be your paper pumpkin demonstrator. And there will be a link to that on my blog too. But there you go. Thanks so much for watching.